Okay, this is going to be a kind of short video. This pencil sharpener and this sharpener and this sharpener, they're no longer really sharp enough to do any good to my pencils. So, and I'm going to need lights on for me to be able to see this. What I decided to do is I've taken a blade off, okay, and I've still got the screw, and then I've got these sharpeners that were from the Dollar Tree. They were, I think, like a 10-pack for a buck. So I'm going to unscrew. Just be careful when you're doing this. Okay. And I should have kept separate which screw came out of the sharpener and which one came out of my other one. Grab another one. And let's watch this time. Because they're close to being the same, but not quite. We're going to say they probably are the same. So, may not matter. So, there's another new one. This one over here, I believe, was the old one. Jeez. Yeah, because that one's got some dust on it. So the new one, I'm going to take it and just lay it right in the slot. Pick up the screw, if I can get any of them. Drop it in there and try to screw it back in. That way though, if you've got a sharpener like this one I really like because it holds the trash in it and it's a big reservoir for the trash. So I like this sharpener. Okay, but it just wasn't working worth a flip. Now, Oh yeah, see, works like new. Okay, look at that. I like that sharpener. It's actually a handheld sergeant's. Okay, now this one, hang on just a sec. Okay, there's some buzzing and I wanted to make sure it wasn't me. I don't know what it is. This sharpener, is fun fruit from back when my kids were little. Um, that one looks like, let's dump the trash. That's not going to be able to be removed. So, drats, because that was a good little sharpener. So that'll just be trash. This one is that one I made. Dump that. And it's been a really good one. The only thing is I can't get to the sharpener piece without taking this out. So at some point, I will literally have to take that out and start over. All right, let's check other sharpeners. So that one's a work on, that one's later. This one, let's see how it's working. See, nothing. It doesn't even, it does nothing. Okay, just, and it's because the top part of the sharpener, oh wait, there's actually a piece of lead stuck up in there maybe. Ah, maybe that was the problem. So don't forget to check for little pieces of lead and stuff stuck in your sharpeners. So yeah, so this sharpener is still good. 
That one's done. Whatever was buzzing outside finally stopped. Um, let's see if there's any other sharpeners that we can check on. Mm, let's see. A little trash can. Yep. Yep, the buzzing started again. I don't know what's going on outside. This is another fun little one. Oh, I see it just completely fell apart. The sharpener fell out of it. So at which point I would look and see. Wonder if that, nope, not gonna line up right. So this one is probably gonna be trash. Let's look at this one, see what's going on. Yeah, so when you get ready to do your pencil sharpeners, just know that you're going to do them all at once. Yeah, see that? It's not really doing anything. It's just spinning in there, and there's nothing stuck up in there. That was from the other one. So once again, I'm going to go to the smaller hole, take that screw out, Okay, there we go. Yeah, it's a, the sound I keep hearing is like a dead weed eater or something. All righty, let's just pull that to the side. I'm just kind of feeling some of these to see how sharp they really are or are not. Neither one of those feel real good. So I'm going to go over here and get another one of these that I know I've not used. Okay. And again, there's that little place to lay it. Can you see in there? And then the screw goes back in. And then you've just got to line it all up. And this is just a little screw, um, little screwdriver that's for like eyeglasses or something. My sister and them always have tons of little gift things laying around, so we get stuff like this all the time. And this is just one of the many that's been tucked away. Okay, back together. And we're sharpening. Yeah. So, so now that one's going to work. Whoops. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. So maybe sharper point than what I really wanted, but hey. So anyway, that just kind of lets you know that when your sharpeners are getting used up, that you can go about redoing, revitalizing, making them like new again. Uh, it still works. It kind of grinds a little, but it does work. This is when my daughter got me on a clearance somewhere, and I don't use it a whole lot, but it works. All right, so that's it. And then I have my big manual, but um, not my manual, my big electric but there's no need in yanking it out over here right now. Actually, these go in there. So that is just a quick little video on how to change out your sharpeners. Anyway, yeah, so when I got these, they're at the Dollar Tree, and they're in the school supply section. And they last a pretty long time. I mean, I haven't changed, I haven't changed blades out on these in ages, but I thought it might be something y'all might like to see. So anyway... Have fun with it, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.